uh, they, they were also kind of preoccupied too, in a way. There was a bit of a rush too, right? So, yeah, they, yeah, I guess they, they did, you know, going home is, uh, is yeah, is their task. Yeah, yeah. go. Um, next, we can do maybe one or two more. <laughs> Anyone? Just shout it out. Uh, right here, you even asked a question. Go ahead. Yeah, how did, how did you guys get on the train? Was it, yeah, was it that hard? Was, that was the first question come to my mind when I decided to make this film. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, the, the thing is you just need to get prepared. Uh, when it gets closer to the, the, the festival, the tickets are in high demand. So for us, we would just make a plan. We buy a lot of tickets for different days. And, and then they would, the, the, the parents, they would just go line up at the train station when, the, when, when, when their factories are on leave and they're about to take the trip. So whenever, which day that they, they were able to get the tickets, we would be able to travel with them. And then we'd just uh, sell all the, uh, all the other tickets that we have. Yeah, this is always in demand, so there's no problem selling those. Uh, lady there? Yeah, I mean, you seem to have special permission to go in certain places in the train station. Like when the crowd was coming through, you were you were filming in the front, and then you seemed to be on the other side of the police barricade sometimes. How did you do that? Uh, you you seem to the lady said that you seem to have kind of special permission or at least access to locations that you might not like behind barricades, etc. How, how did that develop? How did you get that? Right. Access. Um, we we I, I did have some friends working at the train station. So uh, from the first year when we were shooting there, we we were we were allowed to go about and shoot whatever we wanted to shoot. But then uh, when when the two thousand eight the year of two thousand eight uh, it was uh, the big snowstorm that which caused you know the I guess half of the country's railway station, uh, railway system, kind of paralyzed, and that's why there's so many passengers were grounded in the train station. Uh, and that year it was uh, the permission doesn't really help you in any way because everyone stuck there. We we were there for we were there for three days and three nights, and I heard passengers, people were telling me that they they've been grounded there for a week and even longer so nobody can help you at that at that point uh, you are really on your own so we were standing in the crowd and and when what what we were able to do is that um, the crowd would, would 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 move every few hours to to I guess the next block and when we were closer to a Path, pathway or uh, to a barricade, I would ask my crew to climb over and go to a vantage points to always try to get a few wide shots or vantage from a vantage point. That's, uh, I mean, whatever we can do is that the police probably will not stop us. But for the moment, for the for the time that you are stuck in the crowd, there's nobody can help you, and there's a lot of reporters there too. Uh, not just us. Um, I, I met reporters, camera crews from CNN, from Reuters, from CBC. They're they're all there. They can shoot anything they want because everyone's so so preoccupied that, that the police, the soldiers, they are they they have too much they have too much things to be busy with. It's like just keeping an eye on us. Okay. Um, there was a question. Yeah, right there. I'm just wondering if you were able to uh, help the family financially with, with the uh, effort. The uh, question was whether the, you, you could assist the family at all? and what? Uh, after, after the film done, yes, uh, a little bit. Uh, I, I was personally uh, helping the boy. Uh, I'm, I'm paying for his uh, high school tuition now. Um, and we are also trying to... Uh, 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 set up initiatives in China to maybe uh, uh, 
created donation or funding uh, for the for the family. We well the production company we we try to do the same for the other film up the Yanzi. Uh, we we set up a charity funds here in Canada and the, the company was able to raise a considerable amount of money to help that family in the other film and we are trying to do the same uh, with with this family. Okay, I think we can do yeah one more right at the back there. Do you know what? What's happened to that young woman working in that bar? It seems so tragic that she's in a situation that she doesn't even really understand the dangers that she's facing. The uh, question was about what, what happened to the young woman in the bar, and uh, it, it lady noted that it seemed yeah. tragic that she didn't really understand the situation she was in. Right. Yeah, that's that's actually the biggest concern from the, of the parents as well. So. But the good thing is she actually, she, she left her job uh, a, sh a, a, little, uh, a little while after we uh, wrapped up our filming in 2009. So she went, she went to another city, she found a job in a hotel, she worked there for I guess, six months, six or seven months. <coughs> and we met we met uh, last May when I went back to China. She she then told me that she lost her job again and she's still trying to find a new job. Um, there there are many young people like like Ching, like the daughter. Uh, they're from countryside. They're less educated and they're kind of uh, struggling uh, for their life, their existence in the in the big cities. And Ching is definitely one of them. Um, <coughs> but uh, I, I spoke to her yesterday, and she told me that she won't she won't go back to to her home for the Chinese New Year, which is coming around in two weeks. But she plans to go to Beijing and and uh, study in a, a makeup school to get a career. So I will be I will be helping her to do that. And uh, also a little bit of update with the family. The, the father is still working in the same factory. Um, she, he, he just got back to the village a couple of days ago. I, I, I called them yesterday too. I called them because the, uh, the Chinese New Year's is coming around so I just want to say hi to them. So the, the family is together for now and the boy, the boy who got into a, a really good high school in his hometown so the parents are really happy about that. And the mother, uh, since she quit her job while we finished the film, she, she stayed in the village to take care of the boy. Bob, that, I think that's a great way to end it. Uh, so thanks for the, uh, the update's awesome. Thank you, thanks for the film. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. The film does screen tomorrow afternoon as well. So please tell your friends, and I believe screens also on, I think, Friday. You can check the program guide. But uh, thanks for coming, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Just one thing, I really want to thank Tiff. I really want to give uh, uh, this, uh, this big, big thank you to Tiff and Steve. Uh, thanks for having me here, and all you guys, uh, lovely people, to, to come out on such a cold Monday night. <laughs> thanks.